Welcome back to Kingdom Hearts. Hello. We finally found out that this world is called Atlantica. Ooh. So that mystery is solved. Is that what's it called in the movie? I guess it's just called like under the sea. <laughs> <laughs> They're just in the sea. That's just what it's called under the sea. <laughs> <laughs> so you see that red shell there? Guess how you open it? I don't know. You cast fire on it. Do you actually? Yep. <laughs> oh, I thought you just hit it. Nope. It's complicated. It's a fancy shell. Yep. Where do you do you have fire? Yeah, I have all the elemental spells. Oh. And fire works underwater? Yep. They didn't worry about that. They worried about breathing underwater, but they didn't worry about but, fire. Yeah, creating a fireball. Fire. <laughs> yeah, so these are treasure chests. And if there's a certain color of, tre of shell, then you have to use that type of magic on it, basically. And this one's just plain? You just hit it? Yep. Hitting it might yeah. open. Yeah, they, they give you subtle hints if you examine them. So. <laughs> and also, annoyingly, those clams reclose after, so it's, you can't really keep track of which ones you have and haven't opened, annoyingly. Mm. That's too bad. But yeah, see how wide open this area is? Yeah. How many entrances and exits there are? That's what makes this place annoying. And it's just the same, there's like nothing going on in the place. Yeah. Oh, yeah, also, the shells won't open if there's enemies around. They'll close right back up. They get scared. I guess. <laughs> They're not scared of you coming and hitting it. Yeah. Yeah. So far, your goal is pretty simple. You just follow the tridents and eventually you'll get to where you want to go. Then, you don't have that to rely on anymore, so <laughs> have fun with that after that. Cottage? Uh, one of the most useless of items. What's it do? Uh, you can use it while you're in the while there's no enemies around to heal one person or wait uh, I can't remember I, I think they just mixing them up with um, tents or not tents um, sleeping bags from Final Fantasy five or six or seven or whatever they are so, yeah in some cottages are I'm pretty sure George, no yeah okay tents fully heal you cottages no cottages fully ah, I don't remember too confusing but yeah they heal you <laughs> okay <laughs> Donald just looks so weird as an octopus. <laughs> like a doofy or doofy. <laughs> Goofy almost looks natural like that, but yeah, it's a pretty natural design. Yeah, I almost made, I almost wonder if these are actual designs from like a cartoon or something. When they be. transform. Do they ever go in under the water? I'm sure they have like what a 70 year history. Yeah, it's bound to be one. Who's that clown guy? And reach the goal with all these handy tridents to help us. That was pretty fast. Guess where these tridents lead? Under the sea? No, you're already there. Uh, the undersea castle. Yes. And in that castle, there's a trident. Oh. But don't tell anyone, it's secret. <laughs> What's the trident do? Haven't you seen the little mermaid? Yeah, I can't remember. It's too long ago. <laughs> well, I won't spoil it for you. Okay, thank you. Oh, spoilers. Ursula wins. <laughs> she always freaked me out, that Ursula person. Kind of liked her and didn't like her at the same time. That's pretty common with, I think, lots of Disney villains. Pretty much every Disney movie freaked me out as a kid. Like, I thought you never that, saw any Disney that's movies. That's the when I was really young, I saw them without like knowing because I was so young and didn't really get what was going on. But m I never really finished them either because I'd always get so scared. Of, like, <laughs> I still have like a muscle memory of the ending of Hercules where he go jumps into that thing and like ages rapidly and then almost dies. I don't uh, remember that. Well, it's just it's ingrained in my mind forever. Only now I actually understand why it was actually happening. <laughs> Yeah. See, and I, I was not like age ready for the actual um, Disney movies when I watched them before, so I didn't really get what I saw. I'm pretty sure I actually have seen parts of every Disney movie, but I've yeah until recently I never finished them except Winnie the Pooh because I love that one. <laughs> 
Although, yeah, even then, the, the Heffalumps and Woozles creep me out, too. I had Heffalumps. nightmares about them. I like the Heffalumps. I, 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 li I like them, too, but... Are you talking about the classic one in the Pooh or the new one? Yeah, don't you remember the Heffalumps and Woozles song? Is that when they're all, like, crazy different colors and mm -hmm. stuff? Yeah, that was a good time. Yeah, I, I love that. I watch it over and over again, but it at the same time, it terrified me. It was like one of those things yeah. where... Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like Dumbo, like... Oh, yeah, that one scene, yeah. Yeah. I still haven't seen all of Dumbo, though. I've only seen that one scene because everyone always references it. Mm hmm It's a cool scene. In case, in case people don't know, it's like that weird, like, acid trip scene. Yeah. I'm sure if you just Google Dumbo acid trip, you'll get it, so. What makes him do that? What is it? Like, he's... I think he gets bubbles or something. I think he gets drunk. Oh, does he get drunk? I don't know. That's what people say, but I'm not sure if they're trolling or not. <laughs> we'll go with he's on acid. It's probably a safe bet. Yeah, it's actually a drug PSA, or at least a positive one. <laughs> yeah, people always talk about, like, how Walt Dins Disney might have been pro-Nazi, but the real thing was how Disney was always pro-drugs. <laughs> yeah, slipping little references in every there and here and there. Yeah, so now we're encountering King Triton, or I think it's what it is. Triton, yeah. The King of the Sea! Ooh. Oh yeah, Triton. There you go. And, and doesn't he um, appear in SpongeBob as well? Or is he? Is that that's a different name? guy. Yeah, it's but like, isn't, isn't his name still King Triton? I think it's King Neptune or something. Oh yeah, that's what it is. I haven't seen this a long time, but I still have good memories. <laughs> so yeah, this is a plot point that has never been resolved. Um, King Triton knows about the Keyblade and has encountered Keyblade wielders in the past, and yet. No game has addressed this since. Hmm. It's weird. So you mean like in Kingdom Hearts 2, like they find him and he doesn't know what's going on? Or what do you mean? No, like, yeah, in Kingdom Hearts 2, uh, this comes back. But what I mean is, he says uh, key bit bears are not good for worlds. Like they cause trouble and stuff like that. That's never, like, addressed. Like, they, we never actually see a time where he, like, encounters them or find out anything else about this. It's just dropped after Kingdom Hearts 1. It's so weird. Weird. Do they ever come back to, like, the same worlds in future games? Yep. And do they act like they remember what happened? Yep. Okay, good. That need not concern you, Sebastian. Have you anything to well, unless there's actually... That's not entirely true, because there are games where you go back to the same worlds, but it's a different version of the same world. Like, it'll be, like, a digital recreation or memories or something like that. So then they'll be, like, going to there for the first time again, basically. Oh, okay. But we'll get to that when we get to that. Yeah. That's a long ways away. Well, actually, it's not. The next one, Chain of Memories, does exactly that. Oh, okay. That's the next game? Yep. Second game is Chain of Memories? Yep. And then the third game is Kingdom Hearts 2. Well. Oh. And then it's Kingdom Hearts 358 over two days. And then Kingdom Hearts 0, or Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. So now what are you doing? Uh, I'm going to find Ariel, I think. It's really, you know, it's kind of weird. It's hard not to, like, call them just by, like, their name from, like, the title. Like, call her the Little Mermaid or call, like, Belle from Beauty and the Beast Beauty or something like that. Because, like, you know, it's just... You call That's them what them? they're called. Like, well, you, when, you, what, would you, what would you call her? Ariel or the Little Mermaid, if you're just referring to her? Probably the Little Mermaid. Probably, yeah, because I'd probably forget Ariel. Yeah, it's not really that memorable. What are these green things? Look like they're normal, like people almost, and they're just underwater, or they they're kind of like frogs, maybe. <laughs> Why? Cause they're green. Yep. Yeah, they have claws. They kind of might be something from Teen Titans, actually. <laughs> this has been a, like, a nostalgic episode, actually. <laughs> Let's keep talking about old stuff. Well, there's the dolphin. Let's compare now. <laughs> so it's it's gigantic for one thing. So it appears to be blue. So what does that mean? I don't know. Blue is a calming color. Ice. Ice. Maybe. <laughs> okay, so, as this not too subtly suggests, that trident thing is important. But also, there's lots of like, <laughs> treasures and stuff here, including actual treasures you can actually get. So, yay. That's cool. Okay, the, the, that's why I said before, there are treasure chests, 
Like, it, it's not just clams. There are treasure chests, but only in here. Or no, there's one more, but that's not until much later. Yeah, well, now we just get the free reign to explore this cool place full of... Ah, I forget the song. <laughs> she talks about this, though. Was this in the movie? Yeah. Uh -huh. They don't take liberties in Kingdom Hearts. Well, I, I mean, obviously, they like they have, like, Heartless and stuff. I mean, like, they don't, like, have something that wasn't there, though. Like, they won't say, like, oh, yeah, this is Ariel's secret cousin. <laughs> That's for the Disney direct to movies. Now we just found a torn page underwater, so that's another thing we can chalk up to magic, I guess. <laughs> yeah. There's a number of exciting treasures that they've got down here. They got the same pots like a hundred <laughs> times. <laughs> There's just like a bakery crashed into the sea. <laughs> They're probably all pots from when people dump their ashes out in the ocean. <laughs> it's like a few. Like that's not how it works. They graveyard. scatter the ashes to the wind or something like well, that. Maybe they drop. They don't the dump pot. the pot. <laughs> <laughs> maybe a, a wave hit them and they dump it. <laughs> this is so awkward. <laughs> <laughs> What's with this fish? I don't like him. Flounder. Oh, this is flounder. Yeah. yeah I don't like him. But. but what do you mean, then? you forget about him? Yeah, I did. Something about him, though. He reminds me, what's that game? I don't know. There was some game that you were a fish, and there was the green things you had to get. He reminds me of a fish from that. That didn't help me understand at all. <laughs> I can't remember. It was too long ago. Anyways, we just looted this place, so now I'd say it's about time to see you next part. Okay. Adios.